Europe has extended sanctions against Russia over the crisis in Ukraine for another six months. They target a number of major Russian state-owned banks, as well as defense and oil companies. Sanctions were widely discussed at the International Business Forum in St. Petersburg this weekend, and RT's Daniel Busher was there. So uh, let's have a chat with him right now. Daniel, good to see you. Uh, what was the general feeling uh, on the issue of sanctions within the business community? Well, this is very much a hot potato across the whole of the forum. The message loud and clear uh, from there is that Russia has to respond in kind. Here's what Deputy Premier Arkady Dvorkovic told us in St. Petersburg. If sanctions will be extended, uh, then we will uh, continue to uh, have our food embargo, uh, so we will not allow uh, food products from countries who establish sanctions against uh, Russia. Uh, and uh, basically, we'll continue the policies that we started uh, a few months ago uh, without any substantial changes. Now, tit-for-tat sanctions unquestionably taking heavy tolls on both sides. In fact, a new study by the Austrian Institute of Economic Research found some two and a half million jobs across Europe uh, under threat, an eye-watering 100 billion euro of economic development also on the chopping board. No wonder Greek leader Tsipras at the forum addressed investors, uh, business magnates and top chief execs and called for the vicious circle of sanctions to be broken. Uh, we spoke to a number of very concerned foreign and Russian top delegates there and the message is clear this policy must end. Businesses are losing their income, losing their investments. People are losing jobs. Political leaders are starting to realize this. When I speak to my colleagues, the economic ministers, they make it clear that they're not happy about sanctions. But unfortunately, in Europe, the decisions taken above the national level play a big role. Russia is the largest country of gas with gas. Uh, we are here, we are developing, we continue to invest in a very large project, Yamal LNG, a new gas province. Uh, we don't see a reason to leave Russia. It's a big market. Our company is performing very well. And we expect uh, this situation to be resolved uh, shortly, I hope. All right, RT's Daniel Bushel. Thanks for that.